So, over the past few months, there have been rumors circulating around of a new, soon-to-be-announced M3 MacBook Air with two sizes. So what's it like? Well, let's talk about it. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my the M3 MacBook Air is Apple's newest entry-level laptop, sporting a newfangled processor and allegedly two sizes, starting at likely the same or around the same price as the current M2 MacBook Air, $1,200. And the larger version will likely be a bit more, I'd guess $200 extra, so around $1,400. Which given Apple's current prices of everything, does make this laptop seem fairly reasonably priced. However, it is within striking distance of the 13-inch MacBook Pro, so let's see what you get with this laptop. First, First, the form factors. The M3 MacBook Air will come in two sizes, a 13 inch and a 15 inch version, which will make things a bit interesting. The screens themselves will likely share the same characteristics as the M2 MacBook Airs, with LCD displays that look pretty with some good peak brightness. But probably not 120 hertz or mini LED though. Those are likely reserved for the MacBook Pros, which again will be in striking distance of the 15 inch MacBook Air in particular. So we'll talk about that more a little later. With that said though, the design will likely be the same as the last generation, with a notch on the screen as well. Now, how about that connectivity? Since this laptop will share the same design as the last generation, the port selection will also likely be the same, which not too much to complain about here. Really, two USB-Cs, a headphone jack, and MagSafe. Not amazing, could use an extra USB or an HDMI, but given Apple's track record, it's a little better than the past. For the webcam, the laptop will probably sport the same 1080p camera, which is still pretty good, and also can use the feature that was announced with the M2 MacBook Air, Continuity Cam, which is a pretty rad feature in which you use your iPhone as your webcam, but a better webcam overall would be nice too. Now, what is really nice about this laptop will be the M3 chip. Last year, the M2 chip, when it was announced was well received, but it did have some user complaints. Namely, some throttling on the processor, which resulted in not as good peak performance as was hoped for. The processor was still great, but for those who pushed the laptop to its limits, they were not as impressed as they were with the M1 chip. So on the flip side, the M3 processor could possibly fix that and result in better performance overall. Now it is looking to be more of an incremental upgrade to the M2 chip, as M2 was to M1, but it will still of course deliver some very good speeds nevertheless, with a projected 15 to 20% performance bump. Hopefully also the laptop does get an upgrade on its starter RAM because eight gigabytes probably doesn't always cut it these days. Moreover, with this new processor, we're also expected to see a better battery life as well. Can't give any exact numbers, but expected to be better than the 18 hours of the M2 MacBook Air, which will be amazing. And also something I'm hoping to be amazing is the storage. But this is probably wishful thinking, because it's likely going to start at 256 gigabytes, which is not great for a laptop at this price. That's more than $4 per gigabyte here. But if Apple does surprise us, and it does actually start with 512 gigabytes, that'd be much better. But again, wishful thinking. And finally, let's discuss the release date. There are two possible times that this laptop could likely be announced, either during the spring Apple event or during WWDC. Now, many leakers have been going back and forth on whether a spring event is even happening for Apple this year, or if the important announcements could just be pushed back to WWDC instead. Last year, the M2 MacBook Air was announced during WWDC, and that could likely be the case for the M3 version as well, but we'll see. Now let's get on to my verdict. So, the new M3 MacBook Air. What do you think? Well, just like the M2 MacBook Air was to the M1 version, this is more of an incremental upgrade, meaning it won't be as show-stopping. Although I do expect this laptop to sell and to be marketed extremely well. That is, because it's Apple. But in terms of the FOMO or fear of missing out that some people got with the M1 MacBook Air, I don't think that will be the case with this laptop. But I do want to point out one thing in particular here. With the 15-inch MacBook Air, it does seem that Apple is going to try to do the same thing with the MacBook line as it does with the iPads. Let me explain. You see, with a normal iPad, it often starts with low storage, so you'll want to configure it with more. But the price for that upgraded version is ever so close or identical to the next tier of iPad up. So like the iPad Air. So then you choose the iPad Air because it's just a better iPad overall and you're spending that money anyway. But then that tablet has low storage again. So you go through that same loop we just went through over and over until you spend way more money on something you don't really need. This is genius from a business standpoint. It's like a marketing ladder. And I feel like it's something Apple wants to do with its MacBook line as well. Especially with the alleged 15 inch MacBook Air, which will fill in the gap between the MacBook Airs and the MacBook Pros. So just keep that in mind. 
really focus on your needs here when getting your next laptop. Because with this strategy, you'll definitely get caught up with those prices. But overall, the M3 MacBook Air does still seem like a worthwhile upgrade for the MacBook Air line. It likely won't be a big refresh though, so make sure you really need it before you buy it. And that was my quick overview of the M3 MacBook Air. I'm definitely excited for it, but we'll see what Apple has in store. Anyway, my name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like C-Rooster. Just take out the turn. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Peace. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated.